Neko Nadri, uh, starting from the loser side, has to send Drill Master to the loser's bracket in order to take this. As you said, in the very first round of the tournament, there were people in the chat who were saying that one of these two were their picks to win the tournament. And we did hear a couple of other people say a couple of other names for that as well. But these two have made it into the grand finals. And when they played in winner's side, it was Drill Master 3 to 1. Yeah, it's really okay, oh, about attack. controlling the offense from Drill Master, who jumps a lot, who dashes a lot. You have to be prepared for that. See, I said jumps a lot, and then he jumped. So these are things that you have to be aware of. So if Neko can control the neutral with the slides under the fireballs, stop the jumps and check the forward movement from Drill Master, she can take this. But Drill Master is doing such a good job. See, he walked forward and then he jumped. And so Neko's thinking about the walk forward. She's thinking about the fireball. That's why she's backing away. Drill Master's using that opportunity to walk forward, to jump. Drill Master's doing a really good job mixing between the offensive options, the attack vectors, as I like to call them, mixing up between them. Oh, God! Oh, no, it was EX Fireball for sure, and that's bad news. And just regular old activates. Oh, wow, that was plus. EX Ball? Oh, okay. You know, at that range, Blanca can probably just do EX Parabolic Ball, and it hits on the way up. So you can probably just... It's probably just a solution, to be honest, to point blank were you doing that. Sorry, cat hitting buttons on my keyboard and making things happen, and I almost thought the stream died and I freaked out, so... So for Neko Neji in this matchup, one of the things that she found last time that really worked, and that we didn't see her, I think, stick to enough, was to walk backwards in the expectation of a jump. Because the, those jumps that Drill Master has been doing are hard for Blanca to answer at that range. Right. But the nice but thing about it if is... If Blanca were to walk back slightly, crouching strong is great. So I'd love to see a little bit more of that moving around rather than holding down back for yeah. The tricky part right now is that Neko has been doing some walk backs and uh, Drill Master has actually been chasing him. Chasing him, uh, chasing her by four dashes. Of oh, the point blank again. That's see, the Blanc I know and love. No yes. follow ups, oh, no follow ups on that V trigger, too. I don't think it would have killed, but still, it would have gotten down to even less health. I, I, I gotta ask Neko about that. I, I just want to see if it's a decision to keep the meter or is just something she doesn't feel confident in. Oh, no, yeah, gotta be watching out against a jump happy Ryu with buttons like those crouching heavy punches. I'd love to see a little bit more corner escapes with Parabola Fall as well, by the way. Yeah, nice. Drill Master Not looking solid. All the time, but to have that in the pocket can be important. Oh no, yeah, those forward moving buttons. Yeah, out of there. Oh, <laughs> just go for it. Oh no, I would love, love to have seen her jump out of the corner. But all right, at least Drill Master does it himself. Here we go. Yeah, damage is there. You know he wants something activated. Oh. And wow, it wasn't enough. Freeze the screen, that, that was nice. Yep, 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 yep. Oh no, the corner. The safe sequence, but to what oh, end? Oh god! Safe sequence and plus into crouching jab. Here's Neko and Adrian. So like I said, she likes to do the crouching medium kick into lightning when she's in the mid screen on cross ups, I should say. But sometimes she doesn't do it on the frontal jump attacks. I mean, is there a chance that she is just too far away and the electricity whiffs? So she feels confident about doing it more point blank? I'm not sure. Yeah, electricity doesn't have very strong range. Right. The blockers that I play against more often, if they want plus frames, will do stand light kick or stand medium kick. Right, okay. I love the use of that walk-up standing medium kick. Good button choice by Drill Master. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing you can always tell a really strong player by their button choices. And so Drill Master going with these, you know, uh, towards heavy punches and the uh, and the and the stand medium kicks is really good side. He did stand medium kick. Saw that she was willing to block. So now he's just doing. Uh, towards heavy punches instead to, to, to keep the pressure going. There's the awareness right there for Neko Neji to slide under. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that was a bit of a risk though. 
I'd love to see Neko Neji make more out of the block of forward Pierce from Ryu, which is minus two, and so it's your turn. Yeah. We've seen her do crouching jab almost every time. I'd like to see walk up grab. I'd like to see stand Pierce. I'd like to see stand medium kick. You know, I'd like to see no. her take more turn. Wow, very fortunate she didn't get punished more for that. Cross up again. Oh, went for the cross up, but uh, stood up and blocked. Oh, that's a big punish! Yeah, could have been. Could have been. Yeah. 18 seconds now. Could have been everything. Oh, faked it. Got him up. Ball? No. Wow. You can do Both that, right? You can do that, right? EX straight Blanca ball and the EX up ball. I think I think there might be a spacing dependent aspect of it, but I'm not a Blanca player, man. Right. I, 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 <laughs> I was hoping you knew because I was thinking the no. same thing. Yeah, I play against Blanca quite a bit, but I'm, you know. I'm not really sure. Right. I'll test it out. Ooh, what the heck? I think that was probably walk up uh, juke into towards heavy punch. And it just worked out that way. Ooh, it's a good idea to neutral jump. Hard to neutral jump those slow fireballs for Blanca. Yeah. Always has been. That's been true, yeah. I was going to say it's true for 30 years. <laughs> Ooh, there we go, the crush into the critical. Okay, let's get as much damage as possible. Close to death, give, put some nerves on Drill Master. Oh, meaty towards medium kick. Wow, out of the overhead. No, you jumped into the corner, no. No, okay, okay. Oh, that's so risky. Neko always jumps herself into the corner. Hey, but this is looking really strong for Neko Nadri right now, especially considering that it was three to one for Drill Master right. in winners finals. She's looking a lot better, for sure. Yeah, this is always the tough part because, like I said, Net Drill Master is like, well, just to win this tournament, all I have to do is beat the same player that I beat earlier, and right. that's when the nerves just come and kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I have to do is, and then you're like, oh, god damn it! Again, just very light stuff. Oh, this is a chance. Yeah, yeah he's still nice. That was supposed to be a fierce fireball, I think, to try to punish the yeah. Blanca ball, but. Okay, see, this, this we gotta see this back from Drill Master. This aggressive play, the dashes, the jumps, the walk up buttons. This is what we need to see from him. No anti air. Yeah, it makes sense to me to use fear reversal in that situation. It's okay, you're still gonna get another bar almost certainly. Well, you will if you just take the damage, yeah. right? You're definitely gonna get another chance. Oh man, TVS2 short hop jump fierce. Maybe not quite that powerful, but. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you might even have less delay on landing, to be honest. That probably is true, but it doesn't hit in like. 20 frame or yeah. whatever it was. Wow. <laughs> that thing was so fast. K Groove Blanca, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, again, jump timing, but drops the combo, but has to activate to save herself. Nicely done. Tried to go for the up ball into the cross up in the mid screen. Oh, yep. Got him. EX. Oh, nice. There we go. That's the conversion. And now it is reset point. Just like that could be in three straight games. Yeah. And then. You're right, King Basuki in the chat saying that three to one in the winners' finals was more closer. Was a lot more close than the final score would make you think. That's true. Right now, it's almost a three to zero. Right. This is not right. Close. And remember what what Drill Master said after his first match. I was so nervous. Do you, can you imagine what he's feeling right now? <laughs> Oh man, and you know, I if really they're like listening the right now, though, he's he's putting those looks that have given him so much success before of jump, of walking forward then jumping. Okay, air to air is one way to deal with that. But I love the ex right away. As soon as the opponent thinks they oh, found the solution, here we go. that is a classic time oh, no. to do ex dp. As soon as the opponent's like, all right, I've knocked you down, quit it. Now it's my time for offense. Then you have the solution to that. That's a very good call. Yeah, both of them right now have been having trouble dealing with each other's jump ins. Both players have been having kind of trouble with that. Neko has been good about the crouching medium punch from before, but less so right now because Drill Master is so good at throwing the jumps in in very weird timing. Yeah, and, and Junho mentions it as well. 
those jab checks that Neko loves to do. Wake up jab. You have to have your frame traps and meaties on point to be able to punish that. Un unlike old Street Fighter games, if you you can't wake up with a button on your first frame like you can in Street oh, no. Fighter V, so you can blow up wake up buttons. There's such a thing as a wake up button in five. Those close jumps have been very effective. Now there is the V reversal, yep. And it comes out immediately. Plus, no, act, yep. Cross up! No, oh, didn't no. have, didn't well, have really the- could have been punished more for Drill Master. He could have gotten a lot more out of that. Yep, plus on electricity, you oh, gotta- punish. Gotta respect the plus on the electricity. Yeah, punish on the target combo, aborted target combo. Oh, that's such a good idea. And you can see her slightly move forward as she inputted it, or you could see the crouching forward. Yeah. The down forward, down forward. You could see it come out. That was exactly what we needed to see right there. That was a genius response from Neko. And now guess what? The bracket has been reset in a 3-0 Drill Master is now in loser's bracket. Oh boy. Oh, but Neko needs to use the bathroom real quick. So okay. go That's for it. Because uh, I do too. So I'm going to hop to the bathroom <laughs> real fast myself. All right. <laughs> All right, so everybody's running in there. So this is the question now. What does Drill Master do to respond to this? And uh, oh, that's right, Neko ran to the bathroom, so I can't ask her the question. Dang it. Um, yeah, I know it's the bladder is icing Neko, not me this time. You can ask Dro. I'm the best at icing people by accident. So uh, how does Drill Master respond to this? Right, like I said. The nerves were there at the start. It looks like he got more comfortable, but when you're in grand finals and everything's on the line, oof, the nerves come all running back. So uh, I, you know, at this point, got to take the time to breathe, to calm down. This is what happened uh, at EVO when uh, PR Balrog landed the level three Tron Bond grab on Dark Phoenix <laughs> versus Viscant. After he made he reset the bracket, he jumped up and popped off, and that actually gave Viscant a chance to calm down, think a little bit, and then gather himself. And he said, had PR Balrog run jump right back into the match, he feels like he probably would have lost. But because PR Rog took the time to kind of dance around the stage a little bit uh it kind of hurt him neko uh, uh if you don't mind me asking a question i noticed after the ex up ball you never do v trigger follow-ups i'm just curious why that is or is that just something you're trying to save the rest of the meter man i hope she's not listening to the stream chat right now sorry <laughs> she should not be listening to the stream <laughs> just let her play all right you. fair enough fair enough okay i'll shut up never mind don't need to answer We'll talk about it afterward. I'm trying to make people nervous here on purpose. That's the way that I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. I want them to see if they can play through this. Because it's, that is a key factor of learning how to win in these tournaments. <laughs> I love all these Drill Master fans here. Yeah, it's super cool that both players have people rooting for them. Yep. In the chat. Just like in a real tournament. Offline tournament, I should say. God, his eyes are shiny. Blanca Chan's eyes are shiny. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> They're like little That's plastic cool. chips or something. Yep, exactly. All right, everybody, in this reset, give me a one if you are rooting for Neko Nadri. Give me a two if you're rooting for Drum Master. Put it in the chat. Let me know. What do you got? You see those ones and those twos. Dang, that all day, huh? Feels, we'll see. Feels like a nice I, divide here between everybody. I, I, I see what Hex that. Warlock did. He typed in a three. He wanted third place to win. <laughs> you were rebel. 
All right, here we go. Drillmaster dashing in, trying to get things started. There's that wake-up jab yet again. Something we've seen a lot, as you mentioned before. Yeah. Gotta practice your meaties. And then, oh no, Drillmaster jumped himself into the corner. Gotta resist that sometimes. I mean, throw it in every once in a while, yes. But you gotta resist it as much as you can. Ooh. Went underneath, that was very nice. And again, the early V reversal is totally fine. Get rid of the opponent's pressure. You're going to get another V trigger. It's totally fine. Yep, and here it is. But you saw the same thing, Neko. And now Drillmaster doing it. They're all jumping themselves into the corner. You're right. There could be a slide in. No, no expectation of it for Drillmaster to get the whip on a Nice. That's a great call. Read on that one. And you saw the crouching light kick meaty. Uh, but I don't know what she did because she got hit out of the air and I saw a reversal or something. I'm not sure what yeah, happened. Was. Yeah. But that was nice. Alright, so she's caught in the corner just like that. Ah! Okay, going for DP Ender. Not quite as strong on the Oki. Oh no! Surely not what Drill was looking for. Oof. All right, back to the fireball game. At a range where he can't get slid, but now he's in slide range. So you see that he tried to bait something and then tried to get the jump in. But there you go, Neko panic button, crouch light punch. Like I said, everybody's got that panic button. Oh, there's the anti-air from Neko too. Very important. I would love to slide activate here. And so yeah, so you see Drillmaster expecting it, neutral jumping. Really good recognition here again, and shout out to Neko Neji for not bringing it out. She's not going to be easy about this. Yep, she recognizes that he recognizes. Exactly. <laughs> she knows that he knows. Oh, these are so fast, dude. V-Trigger 1 for Ryu is actually alright this season. With that little pressure and then was not ready. Oh my god, is this CBS 2? What are we seeing? Okay. Wow. Ryu and Groove dash crouching jab pressure. <laughs> and this is important for Drillmaster to get the first game after going 0 and 3 in the first set. This is a good way to reset your brain. Yeah, those fireballs get really fast in V Trigger. And they're still, it's minus 2 if you do a point blank, but you know, if you're further away than that, it's going to be plus on block. This is what I'm talking about. Let's play some footsies. Okay. The idea there... Oh, wake up jab yet again. The idea there from Neko Nedry to try to just wait and, and be patient, look for counter pokes and anti-airs is fine. But we do need to see more of those anti-airs, and we're not seeing as many. Oh boy, lucky. And again, see, every time Neko gets the back throw into the corner, it's a cross-up right away. And it's not even a true cross-up. I think it's something that can be auto-corrected, cross-cutted as well. I just like to see that less. Back throw into the corner gives you so much pressure situation in Street Fighter V. You just get the free meaties and such. And you can't be scared of the wake up EXs because that's just part of the nature of the game. Jump, being very jump heavy now after that punish. Oh, the range was just perfect. It was right at the legs. That actually might have been safe on block anyway. Oh, those answers didn't come again. Uh oh, Neko Neji. Okay, here's her pressure beginning. Plus, but again, she's also got to stop doing the two low light punches, or at least try to. I, I think her second. I think her light punch is cancelable. Yeah, it is. So you it should is, be able yeah. to do crouch light punch, crouch crouch light punch into Blanca ball at least, or yeah, crouch you, light. Oh. Oof. Yep, sure. Round two. Yeah, I do get the sense that there's a little bit of a shutdown from Neko and Adrian's side. We're not seeing as many anti-airs, her pressure's a little bit less frequently coming. You know, she's not- remember the growth that she teched on the dashes? She did the crouching jab a couple times versus dashes in game, in uh, set number one. We haven't seen those quite as often. Drillmaster has the, the corner, corner now. Uh-oh. Could be sweep activate. It tried it! He did. He tried it. 
That one Nadri shot it down. Nice There's the defense attack. Cross up, yep, and now the throw. So here we go, Neko with a huge life lead this round. Is there any way Drill Master can try to make this comeback now? Oh, beautiful slide. It's gonna be tough to start from here, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If Ryu does find the right hit, again, this season I feel like he's pretty dangerous. He gets into Tatsu pretty consistently now. And he can get good pressure after that. So he can definitely make it happen if he finds the first hit. But it's that, especially from range, that I feel is tough for him. Yeah, cross-ups are really strong at, at like gold levels. And it's something that you really have to learn to deal with. And uh, we haven't seen a lot of air to airs from either player. Oh uh -oh. no, that was not supposed to be fireball, I don't think. After that EX wall kick. The donkey kick. Neponeji waiting it out, jumps out. If she blocks one more fireball or jump in, she's gonna get triggered. Oh, there it is. And again, you know, some people are talking about Drill Master and some teabagging. Uh, that wasn't actually teabagging earlier. That was more fireball fakes, in my opinion. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I don't think that was anything like that. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. the idea. I like the oh, idea. My great goodness. I like the idea. <laughs> it can't be reversal in that situation. Yeah, but that could have just been EX Parabolic Ball. You know, she, she was doing something. She was definitely doing something, that's why she got hit, but that could have been EX. Yeah, ball, you're right, you're right, you're right. Ball ball. You're right. Okay, so... But he was right! He was absolutely right! So it's two games to zero now, and Neko Neju's got to win three in a row. She's going to take it, whereas Drill Master only needs to win one. Here we go. I'd love to see a little bit more of this offense. There's the anti-air! I feel like it's been a while. That... Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Let's pressure with block. Yes! That, this is it. This is it right here. Crouching Strong's there. Stand meeting picks there. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Oof. And tried an air to air it looked like, but not in time. And it just, again, both players... Okay, there we go. The anti-air. I was just saying, both players are just getting jumped in on. And again, like you said, Neko just expect, not expecting the jump attack to hit. So she's just doing a lot of jump attacks and the crouch light punch into nothing. The fact that crouch medium kick and the Blanca ball hit afterwards is just more fortunate that uh, Drill Master got hit. Here we go, Drill Master. Oh, again, the wake up crouching jab. Oh, did not have quite enough for trigger. That would have been very close. There we go. Activate. Hops in there. Yep, out of there. Can't be reversal, but can't really punish in that situation. Oh, no! Didn't confirm! Stayed crouch blocking. Wow! To avoid the cross of the throw. Oh, no. And he baited it out. The EX upper, the EX Blanca ball, baited it out, and now Drill Master is at tournament point. Wow. Crouch tag? Is that in this game? No. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. So, wow, EX. I know, you forget sometimes. It's weird. It just happens. <laughs> I'm being serious. Oh, here we go, some plus range. We haven't seen very many of those. We, although I should say, Drillmaster has actually DP'd quite a bit of those. When the, the couple times we have. Oh no, the anti-airs are not there this time. Drillmaster slowly pushing his opponent towards the corner. She's got a chance now though. Yeah, neko has got to work on some of those counter hit confirms as well. That counter hit, crouching medium kick, crouch light punch into Blanca ball would have worked. Or electricity, I think would have worked. I, we, I think uh, the biggest individual thing in my mind, yeah, she's looking out for air to airs, is that she's not sure what to do about somebody jumping at that range. Yeah, the cross ups are really causing problems for her. And like I said, I've had this happen to me a bunch of times that you just get crossed up all day and you're like, what am I supposed to do? Oh boy, Drill Mass is pressuring. He's close. Oh god, block. No throw. Got the counter hit. No <laughs> confirm. Cross up. The crush. Huge. Activate. Neko, Nadri, still in this tournament! <laughs> the power of the wild. Yeah, but blocking the cross-ups is a terrible situation to put yourself in. That could be the start of things. And in that, in this game so far, we have seen more Crouching Strongs. Not as many in that round, but that's certainly something... There it is! Yep. 
something I feel is a big key to victory here is to pay attention to antis. Nope, again. Maybe even it. jump back short, something like that for this for the character. Yep. Maybe dash forward, maybe slide under is even an option. I mean, there's, there's, I, I don't know, but there's certainly more stuff that we could be seeing. Yeah, if you're charged, you could even heavy Blanca ball your way out of there, you know. Yeah, you could up ball, sure. It's just a question of, I mean, she is aware of this, clearly. She's not sure what to do about it. There it is. There yeah. it is. More of these. Worried about wake up. Wake up crouching and eating. Got the cross up, but again, wasn't expecting it to hit. Neko is not going for, you know, true, true confirmable or, you know, plus on block strings like electricities. I love that backdash. That backdash put her outside of the cross up afterward. That was super key. Oh! She's working on this stuff. She figured it out a little bit. Look at this patience from Neko. Oh! No anti air again. A huge. He's got to stop I'm doing that fireball charge. She's reacted with a jump every time. Yeah. It's not working. Oh! Wow, that was barely there. This actually, next touch could be super chip. Uh oh. Oh! oh. No, Troll Pasta with a huge bet. Maybe supposed to have been super as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think he but was. But in any case, oh, go game win. goes to Neko and Adri. We saw more of her dealing with the cross up. Gotta be more. But we did see EX up fall. We did see crouching strong. We did see backdash to escape that situation as well. So there's more options being figured in here. One to two. Round one. Still very doable on both players' sides. I don't feel like either one has a huge advantage right now. Okay. Very little counter folks here from Neko Nadri. She's out. Oh boy. It's been a cross up in that situation. Post a little reset, cross up almost every time. Yeah. There, Master. Like, I mean, this grand finals might as well be sponsored by the cross up right now because we are seeing cross ups all over the place. Joe Master is expecting a slide activate. Okay. Well, here it is. Oh, no activation. Oh, that wasn't in time. She wanted the deeper jump attack so that she could get the combo. Oh, nice. And there again, using the meter for the EX Blanca ball now. Okay. Wow. All right, it's tournament point here for Drill Master yet again. Oh, I'm sorry, this is actually two to one, my bad. No, no, just eats the jump in. Again, the jumps are just causing so much and a lot of times you do put yourself in that cross-up position because you get so used to walking under the jump attack as well and you just get yourself you cross yourself up and again neko putting herself in the corner that was the first hop we've seen in quite a while oh no. that anti-air was super important yeah now stuck here in the corner drill master can harass we've seen him really control Oh, okay. And yes, calls it out properly this time. Could be super? Yes. Oh, is this gonna kill? Is this gonna kill? It is! Okay. Neko, again, staying in this. Staying in this. Big call out. And that was a great moment for it, too, because it's been the same moment that Drillmaster has done DP before. Mm -hmm. Of, you know, the, the opponent finally gets a sequence. Ah, I'm done. I don't want to see this. DP. Neutral right, jump, heavy time. punch. I like that option. That's a good air to air that Blanca's had since hyper fighting. Not as broken as it was in those games because it was one frame back then. It was one frame. Yeah, what a time. I never understood why it was so good before. Now I get it. It's so mm -hmm. funny. <laughs> They'll never make that mistake again. Yeah. Oh boy, these jumps. And I love Drill Master's going to. You know, we've been talking mostly from the Neko Nadri side of how, it, how to deal with that, but. I really like that Drillmaster has been going to it as consistently as he has because that has been effective. He's been able to get in, he's been able to at least start block pressure, if not outright find the hit. Oh boy! Oh no. He's so close right now. The crush! Neko drops the combo, unfortunately. Gets the anti-air right when she needs it. Yep. Walking backwards just in case. No activation. No okay, activation for... 
slide activate. Here we go. Wake up super. Does she get the super response? No, she gets chipped to death. She could have done super. If you could have blocked, you could have done super. Yeah. Oh. And drill master takes so you can scrimmage. Number 10. Congratulations to Drill Master. Again, I love that Drill Master continued to pressure in those ways because they were very effective. We again we talked mostly from Neko Nature's side, but I really like that Drill was that Drill Master was continuing to go to that. Uh, his understanding of the opponent's, you know, seeming insecurity about how to deal with that sort of stuff was great. Was great. Yeah. And we saw him pressure well throughout the whole tournament. But in particular, he was very cross-up heavy against Neko Nadri because he saw that that was working. Yes, absolutely. That's great under understanding of, you know, what to go to when something is working. There's no need to mix it up if the opponent's not going to deal with it. And that was great. I really like that. So shout-outs to him. Very, very well played.